Rather than networking, I think networking is often like overhyped. So whenever someone asks me to be a mentor or an advisor, I'm like, don't ask me that. Like, tell me the problem you want me to solve for you today. And let's see if like we can both use our time most efficiently and I can help you. So I'd love women to start playing that role. When she's not encouraging women to be proactive, Jenny Fleiss is busy revolutionizing retail. She and her partner, Jennifer Hyman, launched Rent the Runway back in 2009 after hearing that Hyman's sister spent thousands on a dress for a wedding that she was only going to wear once. Well, today, Rent the Runway lets customers rent luxury designer dresses at 10% of retail. You can keep it for a few days and send it back. They'll even do the dry cleaning. The so-called sharing economy is what we exist in now. You were ahead of the game with it. How did you get past the notion, though, that, like, Ew, I'm going to wear someone else's dress. What we did is we proactively invested in building an aspirational brand. So we said everything we do is going to feel magical, beautiful, designer worthy. Um, that made designers comfortable working with us, but it also made customers feel like when they opened a package from us, it was magical, special, like they felt like Cinderella. Cinderella. Right? Is that cin so it made them feel excited and want to talk about something. So you and Jen created an atmosphere, though, of diversity. I mean, the numbers are staggering. Almost 85% are non-white men. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. In this day and age, your executive team is 65% women. Isn't that rare? That's yes. super special. And it's been that way, actually, continually. So we've had different members on our executive team, but there's always been a majority of women. And, you know, that's happened very naturally. We didn't set out and say, we're only going to hire women or we want to be 80% women. It was just the best people for the job. And I think what you often find is when you're dealing with a female-oriented project, problem, that women are most passionate and therefore the best candidates for the, the topic that you're going after. The generation below us really wants to help yeah. other people yeah. climb. Yeah. It's not so selfish anymore, is it? No, and I think for women in particular, there's this perception of cattiness or like yeah. competitiveness amongst women. And I do think we're in a moment where like women are really banding together and mm -hmm. it could be the political environment or what have you. But female entrepreneurship in particular, I think it's like both a hot topic, but an area where we're making progress and there, there, there's a lot of support. Um, so Jen and I both, you know, supported each other as co-founders and that created part of the culture in our company. We've had 35 companies started out of Rent the Runway. So employees leaving to go start their own companies, many of which were women. So I also think we're seeing this like multiplier effect where women are at entrepreneurial startups and they're kind of like, hey, I can do this or I've been inspired or like, the, you know, this founder was my mentor. Now I'm going to go and go after my own dream. Well, Jenny's dream is to be involved with companies in their early stages. So she has since stepped down from Rent the Runway and joined a new startup called Code 8, which is actually a part of Walmart's new technology incubator. Jenny's new project will be creating highly personalized one to one online shopping experiences. Was it a hard decision to step away? Bittersweet for sure. I think, you know, it's always like you're leaving your baby a little yeah. bit. But it's a moment when the company is in such a good place, um, both from a financial standpoint and from a team standpoint. So we have an amazing executive team. I think the culture of the company is still so strong and so intact. You know, Jen is there leading as CEO day to day. So it feels good because obviously I trust her right, implicitly. Um, and I still am very much kind of embedded in what the company is and the DNA. So I think it's a different type of talent that you realize is the best answer for your company. Mm -hmm. And like I joke sometimes that I've hired myself out of eight jobs. I think it's both finding the people who have the right ability to scale the, the business, but also people who love different stages of the company because that passion and entrepreneurship is so important.